Bibi rejects Palestinian statehood. Biden says bombing Yemen doesn't work, but will continue anyway. Notes from the edge of the narrative matrix. Benjamin Netanyahu said he opposes Palestinian statehood and that Israel must control everything from the river to the sea on the same day Joe Biden said the repeated bombing of Yemen isn't deterring Ansar Allah, but they're going to keep bombing anyway. In any future arrangement, Israel needs security control over all territory west of the Jordan River, Netanyahu told the press on Thursday, saying he has made this position clear to the White House. Asked by the press on Thursday if the strikes against the Houthis are working, Biden replied, Well, when you say working, are they stopping the Houthis? No. Are they going to continue? Yes. An unusually honest day for empire managers. Zionism does not work. It was tried, and it turns out it doesn't work. If the forced existence of your artificial ethno-state requires ceaseless war and the periodic massacring of large numbers of children, then your plan for your artificial ethno-state isn't working, and a new plan is needed. Talking about October 7th without talking about the mountains of Israeli abuses which gave rise to it is the same as lying. Normal person. It's bad to massacre tens of thousands of civilians. Crazy person. Oh, so you're saying you hate Jews, then? You're saying Jews shouldn't defend themselves. You want all the Jews to die so there won't be any more Jews because you hate Jews. Jews, 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 Jews. Israel apologists would have you believe there's been a sudden worldwide emergence of Hamas supporters everywhere, rather than a normal and entirely predictable worldwide opposition to genocide. A lot of the footage of explosions in Gaza we've been seeing are not from airstrikes, but from detonations of explosives planted in the buildings. We're watching the controlled demolition of an entire civilization. Once it was accepted that a Jewish ethnostate dropped on top of an already existing country was not only necessary, but so necessary that any and all means must be used to maintain it, atrocities were inevitable. A one-way track to genocide and ethnic cleansing was already set. When I look at this awful train wreck of a world we're leaving to younger generations, it infuriates me that older generations are constantly bitching at them. How can we have any attitude toward the young but total bare-hearted contrition? We should be on our knees, begging them to forgive us for having failed them so spectacularly. But instead, we've got the gall to wag our fingers at them and lecture them about pronouns and TikTok. Oh, duh. They look at their smartphones too much and they don't know how to change a tire and they use they-them pronouns. Shut up, you fucking wanker. You burnt up their biosphere, you piece of shit. You're tossing them from the womb into a dying world of war and chaos and injustice and exploitation, and you have the temerity to tell them they're doing it wrong? Fuck you. I hope they ignore us, personally. I hope they keep rewriting the rules of this dogshit society we're leaving them and knocking down every pillar of our culture. Everything we older generations have done has taken our world to the brink of environmental collapse and nuclear brinkmanship. So I hope they keep shrugging off the old rules of this profoundly sick civilization and trying new things and trying to blaze new trails in the hope of steering clear of the disaster we placed on their horizon. We shouldn't be mocking and lecturing them. We should be humbly apologizing and trying to learn from them and help them. We are failures. They are humanity's last and only hope. To the young, I am so, so sorry from the very bottom of my heart. I hope you succeed in clawing your way out of the madness your predecessors left you in and create a healthy world, a healthy world which will look nothing like the one we made for you. I am on your side, whatever you need. Israel has lost the argument. The Western Empire has lost the argument. The mass media have lost the argument. Mainstream Western culture has lost the argument. Capitalism has lost the argument. Our systems have failed us as massively as anything can fail. Time for something new. <laughs>